I'm Deep Bar Buzzer. <laughs> and we're here in Vegas! YouTube is Team Park Basil here with Feather. And today is the morning after the night before. Yeah. <laughs> We're both a little bit jaded, but I'll put a link in the top corner to yesterday's vlog where we had those uh, uh, $10 for three cocktails. Today it's about 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Um, you can see behind me, we're heading across the bridge towards um, the New York, New York, and then we're going to cut through across there over to Excalibur then to the Luxor and then to the Mandalay Bay. So today we're going to try and take advantage of the um, discounts we got on the game. I'll put the link in here and I'll put it in a couple of vlogs ago. It's about two minutes, it explains the app and how we got the uh, how we got the points and how we're now cashing those points in to get deals. So first off we're going for a two for one breakfast at the Luxor and then we'll head to Mandalay Bay to go uh, to the Sea Life Centre won't we after that. So I'm using the M Life card because I'm part of MGM. What you have to do is take your loyalty card to the uh, reward center and get the reward put on to the card. So they'll send you an email when you claim it with a number on, you give this to the person with your ID and then they will add this to your card and you can go use it. Be aware on buffets and things like that, they don't open every day. So for today, for example, the MGM one is closed and yesterday and the day before, the Luxor one was closed. So hopefully it's a Wednesday, Luxor is open and we can get the deal. So let's go to the M Life Rewards and cash in our deal. So the app I used was called My Vegas Slots. You can get it for Android or Apple. You download it for free. I think I put about $20 into it just to get some chips and then I just didn't put any more in. I just played it for time to accrue the points that you'll see at top in the gold. I got 283,000 points when we went on this trip. Then under partners, you'll see all the different hotels and partners for MGM. And typically when you go into this, like the Bellagio, you'll see things like um, rooms, discounts on drinks, discounts on food, free play for playing in the casino as well. It's all the MGM hotels. This is the Aria. I think we got a cocktail for that that we use. Not so many for the Aria. You don't know until you go in. And they do change quite regularly when you go in and look at them. Um, if we have a look here at um, the Mandalay Bay, you'll also see um, the Shark Reef ticket. We got one of those. So if there's some attractions or there's a nail salon there, if there's some attractions in the hotels, you can get those as well. There was a lot for the MGM Grand um, as well as rooms, which you, you tend to have to take them on their own. You can't book them with another holiday and drinks. They also offered the um, buffet. So we got both of those, the breakfast and the lunch buffet that you'll see coming up in future vlogs. Um, and then you see the rest of kind of the uh, the hotel chain for MGM. Also the restaurants, if there's restaurants in the hotel like Wolfgang Puck, you can get free entrees, you can get 20% off food, a bottomless mimosas. So there's deals you can get on, on the restaurants that are also in the hotel. The monorail as well, we got a ticket for the monorail. Uh, we got the seven day unlimited pass. I think it was uh, something like 40% off one of them and pay a full price for the other. And there's also tours as well around like the Maverick helicopter tours. And again, it isn't just for Vegas. You see some of these tours are like for Hawaii. Uh, some of them are down the Grand Canyon as you scroll further on and um, the flights down. So don't think this is only Vegas. Um, this, these app, these um, points can be used for different purchases. You see there's some bus line tours. There's also cruises as well, like um, Royal Caribbean cruises you can purchase them from. And also some tours around Vegas, such as here, you see the Segway tours. Uh, some of the uh, skydiving, you know, the inside skydiving and also karting as well. So lots of different options. So we tried to cut through the Excalibur, but the bottom floor was all closed off and that's the one you normally go on to get across. And um, you can get very confused in the casino, casinos because they don't give you direct things. So best tip is find an exit and get outside. So we've walked outside and looks what's right across from us. Looks so hotel. So sometimes it pays just to uh, get outside the hotel and there's the bridge that we were trying to get across that goes across both, but there was no directions for it at all inside the hotel. So we're going to try and cross the road here. And there's the entrance. This is the walkway you would have come in at the time if we had managed to find out to get it in the hotel. So this walkway goes all the way over to the Excalibur. So we know where we are now. We'll go and find the M Life desk. So loaded on the card, the My Vegas. Tell them it's My Vegas. So we're heading out to the buffet, which is on today, Max. Yay. You'll be glad to know. So we're going to go there. We they can't see the one for the other hotel. You have to uh, load it up with the uh, reward from that hotel at that MGM resort desk. So go and get some food. So here's what's on the buffet.
Now it doesn't get a great review, but you know, it's a uh, should be 27 bucks. So basically, we're saving 27 bucks. Yeah. On top of what we saved so far already, 86. We said 86 so far, and that didn't include the monorail, which was another 40. So the 120, and then this will be another 26, 27 dollars on top of that. So down we go. By the way, it's absolutely dead in the casinos today, isn't it? I oh, know it's midweek, it's a Wednesday, absolutely dead, so I'm not expecting to be busy in the buffet. I think we've been in this one before, so they have fruit. Looking at this again, it's the same as last time. You help, you get your own drinks and everything. Nobody serves you anything here. And that's where you get your drinks from. Tea and coffee. Drinks, we have some uh, salad stuff. It doesn't look that healthy, but well, it's a bit brown. We have some... Um, Hummus, hummus and bread there. Sushi, interesting. That looks like, it's not salmon though, I don't know what that is on the end. We have some um, toppings here, yogurts, bowls, and I guess this is oatmeal, is it? Oh no, soup, of course. You would have soup for breakfast, why not? It's Vegas. There's your milk, teas and coffees. And actually, the signs are above, so you should be able to see. It's like it says Latin breakfast. So I'll look around, see what they got. Latin doesn't have anything at the moment. Uh, though over here, it looks like we've got a bit of spicy stuff. Yeah, I think all the Latin stuff is over here. Latin breakfast stuff. Let's say on there what that is. Pork chili, chorizo sausage. True, so um, make eggs. We've got a carving station here, so we have some sausages and some ham. Not as many as in the last one. And then we have the, by the way, I'm talking the last one was the MGM buffet. We got some, uh, I don't know what that is, pepperoni pizza. Look at the thickness of that thing. Huge. Italian, of course, for pizza. Here's the desserts and toast. Then I'm assuming where all the people are hanging around here is the regular food. Got some rice, oh we've got stir fry, we've got noodles. Mm. Chicken pot, yeah, chicken pot stickers, noodles, some stir fry vegetables. I'm guessing this is the omelette station because that usually gets the uh, egg and omelettes. Americans like the eggs and omelette station. We have some sausages and some bacon. We're getting to the end now, I think. We have some pancakes and waffles and chicken. We have chicken and waffles, eggs, and then a very, very small uh, cake donut station at the end. Other drink station here with your orange juices. So here we got your milk and your cereals, not that choice. Here's your oatmeal and grits, don't mix them up. They are very different. There's your toppings to go on your, uh, your different things that you wanna have. Some sauces and gravy. Salad stuff, more salad stuff. Then your fruit at the end. So I'll go back to Mrs. Theme Park Mazza. Then we're getting orange juice and coffee first and then tucking into something to eat, but I'll wait for her to come back and surprise me what she's got. My guess would be orange juice and a pot of tea. Oh, I wasn't far off. I said orange juice and a pot of tea. <laughs> yeah, look round. Yeah. yeah. Not quite as good as the other one, Not is it? Not quite as good as the other one. No. It's all right. I might have the, some of the Asian stuff. They had some pot stickers and some fried rice and yeah. all that kind of stuff. I'm going to get myself an orange juice. These glasses are huge. Orange juice. And there was the fries, just so you know. Should have been. Uh, $56 and we basically got it for um, 29 with tax. And we're going to leave a tip on the table. You can leave a tip when you come in or you can just leave some cash on the table, which is what we normally do when we're done. But nobody really serves you here, so tips are really a couple of dollars. Right, time to go get some food, fuel. What do you get, Max? Some fruit. Good 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 fru
good stuff. What else? <laughs> What's the stuff you don't know what it is? Well, I, thought, I don't know. I think I don't think it's salmon, but I don't know what it is. I saw that by the sushi. Yeah. I, I think it's uh, not salmon. I don't think it's not salmon. Well, we'll try. But it really is. What is it, folks? Have a guess. It's on the sushi station. Not gonna happen. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I don't know, but it doesn't smell like salmon, so it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna try some different things here. Come here. Chicken. I know. The fees are right there. So thank you. The chopsticks are useless, too thin. Fried rice is average. Usually the Chinese stuff is pretty average. Yeah. Mmm. Spring rolls are nice though. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. So most of these buffets are quite new. I mean, this one only opened in September and we're now in January. And same with the MGM one in the MGM Grand Las Vegas. So everything shut down when COVID hit. Every buffet closed. Nothing was open. Things are pretty much back to normal now, apart from you have to wear a mask inside, which only came back in recently with the Omicron uh, hit. And um, a lot of places are still closed. Like I say, there's only one Starbucks open in the whole of the MGM brand instead of five or six. Well, that's a lie. Instead of three that I know should be open, there's only one. So. Anyhow, we're going on to second courses and see what Max comes back with next. Come back. Have you got on round two then, Max? I got some ham. Did they only have ham there? Or did they have really supposed to have three meats on the farm? I only saw ham. Yeah. Um, fried chicken, sausages. Oh, you got a fried chicken, did you? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be any good though. Yeah. You are a connoisseur of fried chicken. Yeah. You? Sausages, and you got one of those the spring rolls that I spring got. Spring rolls? Yeah, that, get that before it gets soggy. There's no good in there, soggy sauce. There's no good sauce. There's no good That's chicken. syrup. Syrup on your chicken? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> syrup on your chicken. So for my round two, I got some sushi, another one of those spring rolls, that's very good, some bacon, and an apple crepe. There you go, have that for a breakfast mix. So Max has gone for round three, what you got Max? Desserts. Desserts. Donut, yeah. cannoli, yeah. one of them crepes that you said. Yeah, the apple crepes are really good. Yeah. Um, that's a bit tart, clear, and a bit more mellow. You enjoy it. So what are your thoughts then, Max? Eh, pretty mad, isn't it? Yeah, I would say the um, MGM one. It's better. The MGM, if you're going to get it for too long, go for the MGM one. That was, I would give the MGM one like a four out of five. Yeah. For the food choice and the quality yeah. of the food. This one, probably a three. Two. Two to, yeah. Yeah, all the pastries tasted stale. Yeah. It wasn't very good. Yeah, the thing is I don't like about these buffets, and it was here in the last one, is when the breakfast buffets, all you can smell in the air is the stench of the oil from the doing the um, omelettes. omelettes, the omelette stations. 
and it, you know that burnt oil smell it's hitching the back of the throat and it's round it's been floating around the last one so that kind of puts me off but you know we saved 28 bucks but if you do but it was the same price for the one in the near enough yeah MGM. it's a bit more with the MGM how much more it's still less than 30 bucks oh yeah it's the same yeah plus tax yeah and this is plus tax isn't it 26.99 it was 26 right plus yeah. tax plus tax it was 29 with tax so I would say go for that one it's all right but it's just like there was nothing really <laughs> now you heard it from this is Tim Park Baza. So we're going to um, waddle around now and get some of the food offers. Walk over to Mandalay Bay and go to the uh, M Life desk there and see about Lossie's vouchers for the uh, Sea Life. I remember booking it. I remember it was like 2 p.m. So now I'll have to go and ask them and see if they can retrieve them for me. Uh, and we'll go and um, have a look in there. Yeah. So we're going through the Mandalay Bay and we're just called here to uh, the area that's the Michael Jackson Warm show. I said this there, we've never seen this show yet. They have a shop there, so there's, he has a lot of Michael Jackson themed merch in it. And then they have some other things here, such as, well, this is just the merch. So I his uh, albums. Here they have his famous jacket that he wore. His military jacket, I think it's more like a ringmaster's jacket. That's a, oh, there he is. Wearing said jacket. This is where you go into the show. And obviously they send you out by the gift shop. And then around there, next to Mandalay Bay, there's a, one of the towers on the hotels. It's called uh, Delano. It's a very nice little hotel. It's just a tower block on the end of the Mandalay Bay. We never knew there was a separate uh, hotel here. Unfortunately, the show, as you see, is uh, on vacation at the moment. So the only ones that are running now are O, Car, and Love, and Blue Man. Everything else is still shut down with COVID. If you ever wondered what these big areas are, they're called sports book, sport books. So when the games run and everything, it's a huge seating area with big screens and they all bet on the games and stuff. I think the Hilton has the biggest one in Vegas, but that's a sports book if you ever see it in the hotels and wonder what it is. Mandalay Bay is a huge conference hotel, so there's lots of really nice eating areas and shops. It's just a hell of a long way off the strip to come. And all those in there is a bottles of wine, and they have like uh, the uh, servers get strapped up and then climb up, like outside, they pull them up and whatever, and they actually get the bottles for you and bring them down. So this place is Oriole, the wine collection. They call them skilled sommeliers, is that how you pronounce it? quite fun seeing them doing a, all their stuff, very expensive restaurant, but there's a lot of very affordable restaurants in here. It's just it's miles away from the strip. Beautiful hotel. I'd like, and they've got a great outside beach uh, area, yeah, haven't they, in I'd the like summertime. I'd like to say it's just so far away from everything. That's the only problem. And here's the Starbucks. We sat up many times, haven't we, Max? Yeah. Had our coffee here in the morning and then down here to the conference center. Then right at the end is Shark Reef. And we've never been in Shark Reef before because we would never pay the money, would we? No. Though it's too expensive, we never thought it was worth it, but if we're getting a two for one, basically, we'll give it a go. Check it out. Oh, yeah, look. Mm. Oh, look, he's opening his mouth for you, Max. Dum 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 for the baby Bruce. Coming for you. 
Another baby Bruce coming for you. Martin says this is her after she's had after she's had the buffet. It's more like me all the time, I think. She said it, not me. Didn't you? I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> So we're out now, how long are we in there, Max? 40 minutes. So what do you think? Ooh, I'm glad we didn't pay full price. I would say any day it's a $10, yeah. $15 attraction, yeah. not $30. So uh, yeah, I would not um, want to be paying that kind of money to go in there, would you? No. So as we are, uh, so yeah, go and have a look, but if you can get a deal two for one, not, it's worth checking out. But if you're going to city, you've got to pay for kids to come in. It's not a huge, uh, it's not a huge area, is it? No. So we're quite close to the um, sign here, the uh, Welcome to Las Vegas. It's around 20 minutes walk from here, from the Mandalay Bay, south. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna walk south and we're gonna see if we can get out of the hotel here and get onto the main road, cutting through a car park and breaking all these rules. And um, we'll see if we can get down to, uh, down to the bottom here and get down onto the strip and go look at the sign, shall we? Aye. Shall we? Shall we? So we've just been the last half hour, haven't we, Max, in line over there for the sign. There's a guy making a killing, taking photos of everybody, you know, wanting some cash tips. So we, we stood in line, got like all the other sheep, and had our photos taken. They gave him a tip. Uh, I'll insert some of the photos here. They're quite good, weren't they? if you've got somebody else there taking the photos for you so this is the one there's the mandalay bay like i say it's about 20 minutes doesn't look it but it's about a 20 minute walk from this end of the mandalay bay and so we've done it and no doubt you'll see that in a thumbnail at some point during this series on the way back now we're walking on the other side of the road because i saw something new as we were coming up here called the pinball oh, just said pin well, it says pinball on it and i've googled it it's the pinball hall of fame Apparently it's free to enter, it's um, collectors have put all the pinball machines in here and you get to play them, don't know how much it costs you, but we're going to go in there, maybe see if there's a cafe or something or somewhere to sit down, because I've been stood in line for probably a good half hour, won't we? Good half hour. And uh, show you that, somewhere else free to go in Vegas. I think we're going to skip the cocktails today because uh, Maxine's belly is still not <laughs> recovered from yesterday's alcohol. Just uh, last week's alcohol. Last week's alcohol. So we're going to uh, probably skip the cocktails, though we do have uh, the two for one still in Mandalay Bay and in Luxor and in Aria and in Park MGM. Park MGM to use up so and again they're all on the points and I think we've still got a hundred and oh gosh 130,000 points yet to use so we'll probably use some of that for uh, playing on the gambling machines because they're uh, that will be about 60,000 for 25 dollars so yeah definitely a good deal these points aren't they? Deal. You're just going to work at them and work it took me a year to collect that much so don't expect to get them overnight so let's take you to the pinball hall of fame So this is all pinball machines that have been donated by people in the area in uh, Nevada and you see here it's a club and they ask you to make a 
some contribution to the thing and there's change machines. You can play all these different pinball machines in here. That's a walk through. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? I do well. Yes, we're on YouTube, so I guess we just oh. saw the sign. <laughs> hello, internet. Hello, YouTubers. Say hello. Hello, YouTube What's up, world? tubes? Hello. So, yeah, we just saw the sign. We went to the do the normal tourist thing at the sign and so on. Right Pinball? That wasn't here last time. Oh, yeah. How long has this place been open? Uh, we moved into this building April 14th. This year? Yeah. 2021? Yeah. Yeah, obviously last year. Yeah, last year. <laughs> yeah. So we started this, it's, you know, this place is all for charity. Yeah. So uh, he started it over 30 years ago. In the first decade, he literally brought in a bag more canned goods and he played for free. So and he still hasn't taken to pay this entire time. So, wow. I know, we love it. <laughs> it's great. And how old, I mean, these machines are from all different eras. Uh, we have them as early as 1933. That was a little one at the front. Of yeah, the that's the first one when you came in. We have the 1931s, which is arguably the first year of pinball. Yeah. I just don't have enough for you to play right now because we still have to go through them. Yeah. But we have at least one 1940s uh, 40s machine up and running, at least one or two of the 1950s, then a whole section of the 60s and 70s. Wait, my era. Right. <laughs> so the machines here, as you heard, from the early 40s. 1931, I didn't realize 31 was the first year. Down this end, they got the uh, 80s and the 90s. Michael, you and Stephen would love this. <laughs> this is a great place. So we've got the backstory. We're going to maybe have a sit down here and a drink and maybe play a few games. We will see. You can go nuts in here. Look at it. Just look at it. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pinball machines. Oh, great. We're going to have some fun today. Have one already. Everything takes 25 cents here, so you uh, put your money into a, a bill breaker. Keep your cash. Still playing the machine? It's a real labour of love, this, and you can see in these machines how they've uh, painted, and there's all the spare parts, all rare and bits, and machines that are still to be fixed all in the corner here, all yet they've got to work on them. But uh, some of these are pretty, pretty old. And some of these have histories on them as well. I got me money, I'm gonna find some to play on. But which one to choose? So many. Football ones. Yeah. Use the dart handles, a deep direction, use the spin or whatever. Don't have a go. 
So this machine here, I am told is, this is the only one in the world. There's um, only two of them and in the world, should I say. This is the only one that's fully functioning. So we have to play this in the world. So uh, how much is it? One dollar. Oh, wow. Look at all those uh, X-Wings, um, TIE Fighters, Han Solo in the Carbonite. Oh, it. All over. So we're leaving now, what do you think Max? It was good wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. So. Um, you saw Max beat me at the football, I beat her at the uh, what was it, the basketball. We played on a number of games, so you saw. Uh, I got the high score on Galactians that I used to play at Unit 4 in Bryfield every Sunday when we went to the pictures. So that made me happy. So yeah, you're going to spend a bit of money there, but we changed, we had 10 bucks and it lasted us a good, don't know, an hour? An hour? Because the games are like 25 cents through to a dollar, some of the new ones are two dollars. So I know it was great. The sun is setting, I'll give you a quick view. Beautiful. So the sun is now setting and we're going to walk back to our hotel. Thank you very much for joining us today and our adventures in Las Vegas. Uh, we appreciate, appreciate each and every one of you for watching. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe. It does help the channel. Put your comments below. Try and respond to all your comments. And we will see the latter. Bye. Bye.